Hello YouTube, it's me Speedy, and today I'm here for another video, and I'll be showing you some awesome Hot Wheels I got. So, hang on, give me a second here. So first off, sorry about this cable over here, it's not seem to want to go away, uh, yeah, it's not moving anytime soon. So yeah, sorry about that. So today I'm going to be showing you some brand new Hot Wheels I got. I went to Ralph's today, and I scored big, let me just show you. Yeah, there's a lot of cars. So, but first off, I'm going to show you some cars and some custom from a while ago. So I went to a Target, and maybe like a month or two ago, I didn't really ever get a chance to show you these cars, because they weren't, there wasn't enough to make a full video, but there wasn't too many that I couldn't bundle them with something else. It was hard to explain, so they sort of found a weird loophole. So, now I got a good amount of cars, I don't get like a ton or nine, so I'm going to be showing them to you. So yeah, start off. So these are actually a few, let me start with this one. So this one's from the, uh, I'm trying to remember, I think it's from the, Air cooled series. So the Volkswagen, it's really cool. Personally, I like the wheels a lot. The wheels are just very like good. That's a drag racing selection, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this car is awesome. I love this car. So yeah, give it a quick little look of it, detail look of it. Do do do. So yeah, there's that. Next up is this one. This is one of the one I kind of like an impulse buy kind of deal where. It looked cool, I didn't want to pass it up, I got it, and then the brothers just, eh, it's not as good as I expected, where, you never really know what car looks until you open it up, where, personally, from this side, it looks really cool, but you flip it over, and the big, he just sort of, eh, it's really skinny on one side, it's really fat on the other, it's just like, the whole car is kind of wonky, it's hard to explain, but like, it's the kind of deal where, it looks like it'd be really cool, and then you open it, and it has like a tampo on the side you can't see, and you're like, why? Why? And it completely ruins the whole car. Hot Wheels has a nasty habit of doing that. It's definitely gotten better about it. But, so yeah, it's gonna happen to me sometime. This is another one I got. It's the Dodge Daytona. It also has a tempo right here, which is sort of like a case of that, which I did not really see that until you open it up. But nonetheless, I still really like this one. The tempo kind of helps. It looks really cool. Um... I just like the whole idea of Dodge Daytona. They always look really cool no matter what. So yeah. Next up is a Dom's Ice Charger from um what's it called? What I can't think. Hang on. From Fast and Furious. It's Dom's Ice Charger. By the way, these three are all the Fast and Furious series that are available. Like the Target exclusive ones. So this is a Dom's Ice Charger. It's pretty like chubby. <laughs> I like it a lot personally. It just looks really cool, I'm guessing. It's hard to explain, but like, I like the whole, like, kind of engine thing. It makes it look kind of different, but kind of cool at the same time. So, yeah, there's that. And then, last but not least, from Target, I got this car, which is a... Give me a second here. So, this is a... From the, like, new Jada series. Jada's making a comeback. They've always sort of existed, but just, like... They barely have, like, two cars, like, the pegs. But they're making a comeback. And then come the start of their comeback is the... Um, what's it called? It's the Jet, like, I think it's called the Japanese Icon series, where this is one of them. I believe it's a, it's a Nissan NSX. It's, I, you probably got that wrong. It doesn't sound right to me. Or something NSX. Acura NSX. That's what I'm trying to say here. Wait, no, it has a Honda logo. I'm at a loss here. I don't know what this is. Is it stay on the bottom? Stand by. Um. It says Honda NSX Type R, Japan Spec. Okay, so I was somewhat close there. Yeah, so that's that. It has headlights, but they're just painted, which is still really cool. Okay, like it was three dollars, by the way. I think these were three dollars. This was like five, and this was I don't know its cost, but yeah, still really cool. And then I made some custom from Target. Here's one of them. I got this idea off Instagram. I saw a guy do it named House of Toys. His Instagram's really cool. He posts a lot, like 10 posts a day, which is pretty crazy to me. So yeah, this car, it's sort of like the kind of like classic, you leave your car parked, and it's like a supercar, and it's been missing, messes it all up, and then it's screwed. So yeah, it has a like, puncture on the like, back, and like all this different stuff. I got all these key, key, keys that really and scratch. Here's another one. There's the other one, yeah. So you see what I'm saying? So yeah. I kinda of went crazy. They aren't really kinda of, they're sort of like off brandy cars, but like not completely. 
That is just fun. This one originally was an RC car. But the thing that it was completely messed up, it was missing pieces, it didn't work. The thing that came after was razor sharp, so I took it all apart. I believe I cut the thing off and then I took the, the base off and it's actually unscrewable, which is great one of the great features about most like higher end cars and RC cars. So I unscrewed it and put this base on. And this base is from a I'm a Mustang that I took apart that was unscrewable, but the base had like the wheels and were great, but they don't come off. So it was a lot so it was lose lose. But now I finally found a place to put it and personally I think it looks pretty cool. So yeah, that's that and it's really light. This was originally a tow truck. I had like a tow truck thing back here and like a um like a cab right here. But I kinda took the tow truck part apart. Meh. Wasn't really the tow truck part broke, so I took it off. It looked a lot better for a while. Then I just got kinda tired of it. So I took the cab off. And with this bomb bar looks really cool. It's like a really good drag race car format. Unfortunately, I'm not a good enough customizer to make anything really, really cool out of it. So, shoot, here. Yeah. So, I kind of got inspired by this thing I saw called the Race of Gentlemen, which is sort of like a very, like, you take, like, a really old, like, 20s, maybe 30s race car, and just, like, go to the beach, and, like, go to, like, the beach. It's, like, a real thing, by the way, and you kind of just go to town with it, and it's really cool. I found it on Instagram, so, yeah, I'm using Instagram too much, but at least it's not, like, for, like, this, it's, never mind, I thought I was going to that joke. Um... So yeah, I basically just put some seats on it, even though it's not really, it's, I can't really do anything too realistic, because like, I'm not too good at customizing. I just kind of taped these parts laying around. So these seats in this sort of steering wheel kind of deal. So I taped them on, and then there's that, that's that. And then I want to put an engine on it, but I don't really have one yet. Then I did this car for the same sort of deal. I was missing the front wheels, so I just taped ones on the bottom that are actually not even in the axle. They're just behind the axles, as you can see. And then if you turn around, I just sort of like detail it a little bit to make it look like less good, I guess. So yeah, that's all for that part. That's all for the Target haul. I was going to show you all the cars from Ralph's, but I feel it's actually at a pretty good length. So I'm going to pop, end it here, and then part two is going to be the Ralph's cars. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. Hope I wasn't talking too fast, and bye bye